3 o'clock we will be ready to uh, sail out. I'm feeling uh, very homesick right now because suddenly the reality kicks in that you are quite far away from home. So currently my handover is going on. I am taking over all of the things which are remaining, things which I have to do now as a second mate. The second mate who is going is a really good guy. He has done most of the pending works. So I'm quite happy. And this will be the new office. And I met Siddhesh who has been with me for three times. A happy moment, eh, Siddhi. <laughs> we'll see him more in the vlog yes. now. <laughs> so guys, finally I'm back here in my cabin. It is 10.05 p.m. In another two hours, I have to go back on watch and then 6 on 6 off begins. Very cool mattress. And the journey starts, guys. I want you to comment and tell me what all you would like to see more, something new. And I'll try to cover that. And for now, I have a friend also here who you saw in the beginning. So I'm so happy. Right, this is how the cabin is looking. I've got a nice desk. Editing setup is ready, most important. And a couch and a bed which are in the same direction, which is not good because in rolling, I need a couch which is like this. But the shape of the cabin is such. And we've got one painting over here and one painting over here. This is a really nice one and a cute fridge and of course the cabinet which is sufficient and what else i got a new 360 camera from which you must be seeing uh, the new kind of footages the tape the shelf is ready and boiler suits are ready second of sir tabs are coming on the way and of course the bathroom which is nice and sleek so guys officially ksn has taken over it is 12 50 am and the third officer has gone to sleep you are just having a chit chat of what all operations need to be done because I need to revise. So guys, I'm trying to reorient myself as the cargo operation is going on. And I'm trying to understand and <laughs> remap that what I used to do, how to check twist log lashing, etc. So yeah, that's that's going on right now. All right, busy, busy, busy time. I just took my deck round. And while I was doing that, to be very honest, I was feeling very homesick. And I was thinking, why am I doing this? But the more important part is that while all this is going on in the head, you have to concentrate on the passage plan, which is your job responsibility. Now the officer who has left has made the passage plan because I will have no time to do all of this because we have a quick turnaround in the port. So 
I have to sign this passage plan. That means, if something goes wrong, I will be the one blamed and not the officer who has gone now. So understand, whatever you sign, make sure you read it carefully, go through it. And this is not for shipping. This is for general life. Always remember, sign only once you have checked everything. So I'm gonna do that, and then fam familiarize myself with all of this equipments here. Good morning guys, first sleep on the ship was pretty good but very short, it is 11.20 uh, am, I slept for around 4 and a half, 4 and a half hours, we are still in Volvis Bay, as you see the crane operation, there is the gant gantry crane, also feeling uh, very homesick right now because suddenly the reality kicks in that you are quite far away from home and uh, here you will not be treated like a child you are an adult so i will call my family and rudema and that will at least make me feel better that's why internet is very important that is why i would like to introduce you all to the sponsor of this video which is eralo eralo is the world's first e-sim store which covers more than 200 plus countries and regions in the world and because of this i can speak to my family upload my youtube videos from any port in the world and this is in Namibia and it's worked wonders for me. Eralo's application is a very easy app to use and it has got a range of affordable plans which suits all our needs. Now since it's an eSIM, the only thing I have to do is purchase it and install it and I'm good to go. A list of all the compatible phones will be in the description so you can check them out and also you can get 20% off on all your eSIM purchases if you use my code KSN20 so don't forget to check the links in the description Honest, this is one of the most beautiful ports I have ever ever been on have a look at this small lighthouse and the endless Atlantic Ocean beautiful ships all along some different kind of ships let me zoom in we have a look at all of these floating dry docks and that's the bulk carrier terminal looks absolutely spectacular and I can't believe I was on that part of the uh, side, the shore side for five days and we all explored it in the last video which was which was something different feels good to you know uh, be a sailor when times like these come so <laughs> anyway I am happy now being on the ship because work is worship and enough of the uh, gyan <laughs> I'll move forward we are going to be heavily loaded and that red line is our maximum draft we can reach which is around 14.4 uh, meters right now we are at around 13.5 13.6 meters so we are going to be absolutely heavily heavily loaded so it's going to be a different maneuvering this time i'll put it in the next logs something new because of the deep draft you can also see the inclination of the gangway is very very uh, less so it is quite easy to walk up and down from it just came to the bridge to you do some checks and i saw this cargo net over here so as you see the wiper is here but not in this screen so uh, they are trying to fix the electricians are trying to fix it let's go out and see what's happening so Siddhaj, what's happening to the motor so right now we are checking motor uh, have some abnormal noise and shaft is not turning so we are checking capacitor okay We'll check if capacitor is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, it looks like it's going to be a big problem, not a small one. So uh, both of them are checking it out. And this is how the cargo net is placed for safety because we are quite at a large height. Classic example of a ship 
surging. See the lines, they will get snack. Oh my god, there are seals sitting on the bulbous bow. We have to go and see that. The distance between the jetty and our aft deck is almost parallel because we are so heavily loaded right now. And you'll see the lines. Oh, look at this. Wow. Three seals resting. How pretty is this? Yes, correct. Uh, 3 o'clock, we will be ready to uh, sail out. We are in process of preparing our engine over. Guys, departure time. I am quite nervous because I have to prepare the bridge as you saw. Yeah, I'll be back. We have finally sailed out of Namibia and this is the best feeling ever to be out on the bridge and be able to see the ocean but right now there is something happening which is strange and this is we cannot see anything as you see nothing visibility is very bad and on that note I'm going to close this video hope you all like the video continue to watch all of the episodes because I'm going to try to make it into a full-fledged series and uh, let me know in your comment section what else, you would, what else you would like to see for now hope you like the video don't give it to give it a thumbs up don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and see you back from another day on the high seas